My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? <laughs> now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. And she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe 10 minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then- Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions, later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Oh, my love. Mi dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Uh, 
really getting out of here, huh? Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research Follow wing. Follow me. Requesting backup from all available That's security false. personnel. Nancy. Why, these... There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> 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 Holy shit! What are you doing, Desmond? Follow me. Look at this place. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. That an animus? Wait. Stay close. Lucy? Stay back. What do they need with all of them? Desmond. Fuck. I thought this card would work. Must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Itzio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where?
get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. You'd shove in the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, you gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins... They'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., He'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. 
Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. So, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor! Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buonasera, Viena. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you.
Hold on. What? We've almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Lend me some floorings, then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. Ravelli, that should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Way, Ezio. Bring me your sick and wounds. Ben provato, doctor. Hmm. Fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Fuck the tea. There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> We should head home, Ezio. Father sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre! <coughs> Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> Come on, Tartaruga.
Baby brother still has much to learn. Come on, Tautaruga. Baby brother still has much to learn. Come on, Tantaruga. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> Best. May it never change. And may it never change us. All right. Enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. So it's Vieri. I'd better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. W well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Elia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! Oh, now, now. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Go! Take him down! There's really no need for violence. Oh. It's right there. This day is your last. You have me confused with someone else. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent.
Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Come see what pride, beauty, and years of experience can do for you. Keep up the good work, Biscero. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. My friend Uber. Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while. But for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? 
the other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. But the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Hey, Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtù. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talk me, but when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have a bastard. Stay away from my sister. Porca miseria! Carne fresca! 
Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Now where is There! On him! Do you require a medical assistance? That's it. Come back if you need me. That should heal quickly now. Here, Petruccio. You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise.
Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Last week's shipment was full of mold! Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come, it's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io.
Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We are not contagious. At least I'm not. Delivery from Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brother to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. 
Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes! To my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. to him. Not here. You'd better get out of my sight! Order! Ezio! Father! What's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them? Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the Pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now!
in unconverted woolens shall hereby be taxed an extra hundred parts on all said there was a door here. Sei Roberto. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. What do you want, then? For you to die! Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! Signoria! <laughs> Ezio Auditore? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah... I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. Must have you cut us off when moving like that. I straight 
metal work here. Uh, has anyone seen my assistant? It was right here. <coughs> Ma che fa? Is he sane? I may be a bit disorganized, but I do know my speech. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear! We will! Father! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba Tetem. Little run, boy. And fast. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What of my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. A weak of bleeding is part of a balanced, healthy lifestyle. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it, as do all the neighbors. 
Please teach him a lesson for me. Nato, and she wins. I give up. That the bitch. <laughs> I mean, wonderful wife of mine. <laughs> I'll go home. Make something the idiots. Vede bene che io sei ultimo. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. 
You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us, and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Come a little bit closer, Ezio. It's a funny outfit. Another mask tonight. Some noble stud, no doubt. And an outlandish hood. Bad. Damn a foreigner. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? 
By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. Si, but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Auditore, I I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There! It's finished! Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! 
Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Uh, preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Tell me what I want to know, and we can... Oh. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. Thank you, Leonardo, for everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. seen a stranger man truly There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on, that's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't! It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond, then. I can't believe this.
Hello, this is... They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all. But I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. You were gone for quite a while. 
Bernardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends. Which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Are you 
should come for an hour to forget you. What yes. a girl to do, surrounded by so many. Oh, I, I dropped it. Oh dear. Good evening, compagnoniere, to you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditore family. And to think I once thought of Giovanni's. Brother, don't blame yourself. How could you have known what he was I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Uberto, a moment of your time? Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. You! done the same to save the ones you love yes I would and I have the auditorio are not dead I'm still here me Ezio Ezio Auditore
I'll distill them and... Ah, yes, much better, friend. You see. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the heralds also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Ezio! Where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Bertuccio? Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again. For everything. Stay safe, Ezio. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Follow my lead. Move along.
you have a poor lady? Out Why the bad she <laughs> Could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. And what will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. All right, this way. Buongiorno, Ezio. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> what will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and sister. I grow tired of this game. Finish him, and do not spare the women. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them! Kill them all! my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's-a me, Mario! Uncle Mario? <clears throat> it's been too long, Nipote. <clears throat> Far too long. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Tell me everything. They executed father for treason. 
Federico and Petruccio, too. They came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterigioni. I thought Monterigioni was an enemy of Firenze. For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Yes, that's life, huh? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me combini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Mention me to your amici. I've great metal work here. Come, don't be shy. I only aim... I'll be close by should you return. I may be a bit disorganized. Go, this thing is here. You may be up market, but my after sale.
Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Ben fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Ottimo. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born and bred to kill. I find this difficult to believe. What of the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalog of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father's murder. you are to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you'd have the Codex page he was holding as well. Codex? See. A guide to the inner workings of the Order, its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. Your father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps it's why it's Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. Vieni. Non amo che mi si faccia. Sai, le ha... You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man, and we, the Assassins, are sworn to stand against them. Was Uberto one of them? Yes! And the other names on my father's list? Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Eh, it would explain many things.
Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nepote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Here you go, sir. Mention me to your Amici. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> 
Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, Fronte. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack them! Oh! We are in! This way, man! <laughs> I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Vieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the buttons? I'll signal again when you should follow.
friends. I'm fresh caught leashes today. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, the boat. There you are. It seems my plan is something of a attack. Here is men ambush. Now we got us. My brother and I will do with this now. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See the justice. I'm almost giving my labor away. Not you! Get it! Fence of the Amanda! Well... You'll not find fairer prices than these, Amici. Just look at my wares and see for yourself. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting.
What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? Uh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened... Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Another time, then. next to pass this way. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, uncle.
The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Messer Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenari like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I'll start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
Great metal work here. It's a curious way to get about. 